I do remember the name of the game store. We are at the Games Keep here in Westchester, Pennsylvania for the Unpub live play of Fidelitas by Jason Katarski and Philip Berry. Uh, behind the camera here is the director of the Unpub program uh, yeah, and uh, proud designer of the Confounded Tiger expansion. Gotta throw that in there. It's also on Kickstarter right at the moment. Daryl Louder. Over here on the flip side, we have John and Chris who are going to join us to play today. And next to me is Der uh, Derek. I almost said Daryl. He's over there. Um, so we're going to have a three-player game. I'm going to run through Fidelitas with you and then sit out. Anybody that saw the last will make this game, uh, this 20-minute game, a three-hour game if I play in it. I just talk too much. So I'll run you through the instructions. Has anybody here played this game yet? No. I okay. have not. And that's what's really cool about it is that um, we're just going to run through the instructions. They're going to play for the first time, but it's, it's fairly simple. Um, the idea behind Fidel Fidelitas uh, is that there is a corrupt government that we would like to overthrow. We gathered together last night, we made our plans, we had a few too many celebratory ales, and now no one remembers our plan for the revolution. Okay, We're supposed to meet somewhere and gather some people, um, but we overindulged a little bit, so we're not sure how to get this revolution started. So over the course of the game, we're going to be playing characters on the board, and trying to accomplish some secret missions in order to gain the most influence so we can lead the revolution. Okay, We would like to be the ones in charge of this movement, so when we throw the government, when we overthrow the government, you know, we know whose picture is going to be in the paper. Okay, So the main uh, feature of the game board, if you want to go top down there, there we go. The main feature of the game board is that there are five cards, five locations, or five cards that make ten locations, I'm sorry. So on each one, you can play to either side. So which two are down there? The the magistrate's office and the manor courts. Okay. And then this that is all one guild. You can see they have the same guild icon here. So two locations of the same guild. And then down here, what's the next the one? The library and the university. Okay. Also, I believe there's the scholars guild, the taverns, a special card which we'll get to. Um, here. Uh, we have the market and the warehouse and the merchant's guild, and last we have the butcher shop and the bakery. So over the course of the game, we're going to be playing these character cards to each side of these locations. You can play them anywhere. Okay. What we're trying to accomplish, we're all going to have some secret agendas or missio cards. We're each going to start the game with two of these missio cards. They are just what you're trying to accomplish over the course of the game. The victory points are there on the bottom, and they tell you what to do. And so the simplest ones are actually from the very first iteration of Fidelitas, where if you're the clerk, you're trying to collect somebody from four different guilds at the magistrate's office. The baker, you want four different guilds at the bakery. So you're collecting these characters at the location that's stated. That's the easiest one to accomplish. Those missiles are worth a single point. Okay, I need just characters from four guilds at your shop. These are higher point values, so they're a little more complicated. So for the Judiciary Guild, you need six different guilds across either of these two locations. And the guilds are all represented by these icons. So six different icons over here, and you'll complete uh, the hold sway over the Judiciary Guild. Okay, The Dock Master wants you to have characters by the docks, which these guys flipped around, um, which are represented here. There's a little ship icon here, so the docks are over here. And there's a little castle icon there. So when it refers to by the castle, that's down by John's side. So gather people by the docks. Um, you know, the minstrel has different things. The city is worth a whopping four victory points. You want at least one card from every guild somewhere in the city. So you don't want cards to get discarded and things like that. Okay? So those are your secret missions. And I'll shuffle these up. And the way we accomplish those missions is by playing the Virtus cards. Okay, which are kind of displayed out a little bit. Um, Sorry, it was my fault. I, I, you said six guilds. And oh, no, know. absolutely, absolutely. So what you'll notice is that the icons here match the icons here. Okay, So any of these that have the matching icons, when you play them, they must be played to those locations. You can play it on either side, but they must be played to those locations. Okay, um, And this doesn't say that on here because that's the rule unless otherwise stated. Okay, if the icon matches here, you got to play it on one of those two things. And then, as far as those actions go, it'll tell you exactly what to do. It's going to be moving characters, swapping characters, discarding. So that's going to be how you accrue the people and locations that you need. Okay. The other ones 
different icons that are not on the board, different guilds. So the Skullduggery, the, the Harbor Guild, um, of course I'm, I'm sure I'm getting these names wrong, the Soldier, the Clergy, they will say where you can play them. Okay, the Soldier you can play anywhere. The Dock Master you can play by the docks. Okay, so since there is no guild icon that matches, just play them where the card tells you you can play it. Okay, use these cards to move characters around to complete these. Okay. That's the whole game. Okay, the if you could shuffle these guys up. So how many cards are we playing in turn? Uh, so we're just going to play one. So I was going to okay. lay the map out for you. If you would shuffle those up and give two to everybody, and those everybody gets three. So you can have ten characters on the board to start. So okay, three. it doesn't matter. It I'm just dealing. I'm matter. dealing them out too. Yep. Okay. Because you want to populate the city to start with, so you have characters to move around. One, two, three, two, three. So you and you, and then ten down here. Yep. So just one, two, three, four, five. There we go. And let's do. This is where you're oriented, right? So these are, there we go. All right, so that is just sort of a starting thing. So you have some characters to move around. And again, all you got to pay attention to are the icons because you don't have to know who's who from what guild. So on your turn, you're going to do these things in the following order. Play one of your Virtus cards. Score a Missio card if you can. So it has to be on your turn. Somebody can't have accidentally accomplished it for you and you can't score it right away. They might have accidentally accomplished it for you, and then you can score it on your turn, but you have to score it on your turn. And finally, the last thing you do is draw back up. You draw one card. Now, there are cards that will let you draw more, but again, just read the text on the card. It'll tell you whether or not you can draw two cards. Okay? The last detail is this tavern is a special location. The tavern doesn't do anything. There's no one with a with a beer stein icon. Okay, yeah, I know, right? Come on, Jason and Philip here. You're dropping the ball there. Although the barkeeper was just recently unlocked, I believe. Uh, I don't know what his uh, ability does, but we got a barkeep now. So I say we. Backers have a barkeep now, of which I am one. What you can do with the tavern is if you play one of your characters there, it cancels out whatever ability it has. Right. So you're just playing that to the tavern you can discard one of your Missio cards and redraw a Missio card. So it's a way to cycle through that Missio deck. Just to keep things even, you also take the top character from the Virtus and play it on the other side of the tab. Everybody catch that? So one more time, play any card from your hand, any character from your hand, onto either side of the tavern, discard and replace a Missio card if you know it's not going to work out or you're having a hard time doing it, and then also take the top card off the deck and even out the tab. Okay. All right. I'm a big fan of ladies first, and we have a lovely lady at the table. So, again, you're going to play a Virtus, score Missio if you can, and then draw a card. And I'm going to kind of step out of the way. And I'm also going to make Derek our our player at home. So I'm going to show ones. him. Can you give me this camera? I'm going to show you guys the what his what he's trying to accomplish. Is that at all legible? Nah, not worth it. All right. You can go ahead and, and say them out loud. <laughs> well, that's no fun. Or we can have, have them close their eyes and put them out here. <laughs> well, I guess I'll put a student here. Is that the way I place them? Yeah, a lot of times I, if you can if you can splay them any way that you can see the all the guild icons, okay. however you want to do it so you can see the icons. All right. You can so then I do that, convenient. draw four cards. Yep. At this point, it's text on a card, so whatever it tells you to do. And I believe the student says, don't draw at the end of your turn because of your... Oh, no, you're just choosing one to keep. Nope. I keep that one, and then we have a discard pile. Yeah, so this will be the discard for missions, and that'll be the discard for purchase. Okay. Now this one, do, now do I draw another one, or it, the hand limit three? No, there's no hand limit. So basically, you would check... 
a student. This was I, I confused you. So um, this at the bottom of the card here, see that little shield? Oh, okay. There's a little X, so you're not going to draw a card to replace that gotcha. because you picked up an extra one. Okay. So there's not a hand limit, but that little X says can't you, can't, okay. you can't draw. Perfect. Okay. Oh, I know. You want to put them in the chat? It's people that have the print and play or whatever can. Is it worth it or no? So I'm going to play the Baker. And he allows me to move any two cards to any two different locations. Any two cards from any two different locations. Okay. So I'm going to move the Barrister here, as well as um, the student here, or the professor, excuse me. Uh, well, actually, this guy. Yeah, there's only one card in the deck where the the stacking matters, so you can yeah. just play them however you want. So that was my placing. I performed his action. Um, now we can go to the missio. If either one of those are completed, absolutely. Uh, so the shopkeeper wants me to gather uh, characters from four different guilds to the market. Yeah, you oh. two at the market. Uh -huh. yeah. So that's. But see, you did that on purpose so we could point out the exactly. difference between exactly. between a you know a region of the city and a location. So this guild is the merchant's guild. Is that what this one is? I always forget which one's which. Um, pardon me, but uh, I think that's merchants. And so the, the merchants has the warehouse and the market. So there are now two characters in the market. Okay. So right. the card he may or may not have says <laughs> we need four characters at the market. <laughs> it is the market here. Shut up. <clears throat> right, All right. Much, right. So he draws one at the end, which I just handed handed him since yep. he didn't complete any misuse. Now I'm going to start by. I will play the soldier, since the soldier can play anywhere. Yep. Down here, and I'm going to move the shopkeeper because the soldier tells me I can move anybody to a different location or something to that effect. Yep, exactly. The soldier says, move any one card from the soldier's location to any other location. Or if three soldiers are present, something else. Oops, playing so. Yeah. Yeah, if three soldiers are present, clear the location. So I will move the shopkeeper over to there, leave that guy there. I have not completed any of my missios at this point, so I draw another Virtus card, and the turn passes. Right. As the turn passes. So the soldier has a very specific action, that action of clearing a location. Um, you know, just discard every card that's there. The idea, you know, in terms of the story is that if you're trying to overthrow things, sorry. I was trying to get out of the way. You're trying to you're trying to overthrow the government and the soldiers occasionally patrolling the city. <laughs> so when they show up in your location, somebody gets out of there <laughs> quickly. Uh, right. I'm going to play the baker. Now I can play him at so the library or I can just slide and then put it okay. on top. That we, well, does he, I hate what is he, what does he say? Because he's got the, the shopkeeper icon or the, the, the craftsman icon. Move any two cards to any two different locations. Well but he has to play over he has there. To be played okay. over here. Then I'll play him over here. There you go. And then I'll move any two cards to any two different locations. So I will move... Move the two people from the market so <laughs> that Derek doesn't get... You what? have a... All that hard work there. Need a uh, card. Yep. You okay. gonna go back for some revenge? You gonna find a way? It, it froze. Can you see what you did? Uh, okay. So I moved the shopkeeper from here over to the library, and then moved the professor from the manor courts to the library when I played the butcher. I mean the baker. I mean the candlestick, candlestick maker. No, wait. Oh, that's yeah. actually. That's I, another, I was gonna say that's, that's, that's the a thing. candlestick maker. <laughs> that's the thing. It's it's a cute thing. I I, I appreciate reading that uh, reading that today. Um, I am, I'm going to do the exact same thing as I did last round, playing the baker. I'm, I'm going to try and, try and do this <laughs> at some point here, let's see, and then, that's a, that's a little bit better, more towards my goal, but I, once again, I'm short of it, so, I'm done.
Okay, so for me, I'm going to, because I'm not exactly sure what she's doing over here, I'm going to play, well, no, see, mm. <laughs> mm. yes, mm. I'll play the soldier down here, and he's going to move the baker over to here. So that's that. I now draw a new Virtus card, and life passes. So the turn passes. I'm going to play the broker at the warehouse. No. It, well, it really doesn't matter. And it says move two cards from one of these. I get the commerce or locations merchant. Commerce skill? Uh, to two different places or two locations to one. Okay, so I'm going to take two from here. <laughs> See the uh, the bluffing aspect of the yes. game, keeping your missio secret. Um, and then I'm also I feel going like we to should just let you muck, muck yeah, on those no, no, shows. No, this one. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'm going to complete this your missio. missio. So if you read that for us. So I gained the trust of the student. I gathered characters from four different guilds at the library. So. Awesome. And that's worth how much? That is worth one point. All right, and one thing I didn't mention is the is the point totals. So we're playing three players. We're trying to get to eight points. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> yes, oh. I figured it'd be worth mentioning. I hadn't yeah. really started thinking, how do we win this game? Yeah. I also grabbed the rules for my cheat sheet because I keep butchering the names of, of the guilds. So the Commerce Guild, the Artisan Guild, I'm all over it now. All right. Now, when you complete a Missio, does that clear anything, or does it just stay? It, it doesn't, doesn't. The only thing that can clear are specific cards and the soldiers, okay. um, but you do redraw. You can get yourself another Missio. All right. All right. I am going to play... Uh, hmm. The Clerk, and he allows me to remove a Guild Pair from one location to the discard pile or draw an extra card at the end of the turn. Now a guild pair would be a pair of the same guild or two right. different? Right, so for okay. example, these he could remove these two or the two, the two, or two here. And they don't have to be the same character. So but they have to be the same guild. Same guild, exactly. Okay. Guild I'm pair. going to take the, the second option of drawing an extra same card. So that will effectively increase your hand size yes. until something changes it. Very nice. It's going to help your cause right there. I am going to play the priest <laughs> Why? Help any cause. at the magistrate's <laughs> office. I will reveal my missio. And I have gathered characters from four different guilds at the magistrate's office, so that is one point for me. Nice. <laughs> show that. Um, very similar to the ones you had and, and that you have. So, you know, we all, we're all working on <laughs> that something. That you might have. That, yeah, you may or may not have, depending on, on, I, on I don't know. our psychic abilities at the current yeah. time. Um, and the priest allows me to take an extra Missio card or draw two cards. I'm going to take an extra... No, I'm going to get I'm gonna get a new one anyway, so I'm going to go ahead and draw two, two new Virtus cards to go along with my new Missio card since I just finished. Uh, and then I draw one at the end. Because it does not, or it tells me it's got the X on it, so yep. it tells me not to. Sorry. Oh no, my no bad. problem. Yeah, most times when you're picking up an extra card, you're not drawing it. The yeah, end. when your hand size goes see. up by one, that's kind of a, a hint that you can't draw. All right, I am once again going to play the broker. And I'm going to move two cards from commerce location to two different locations. Now, when they say different locations, are they different from each side? Yep. So on this board, there are ten locations. Except okay. for the, the tavern is different from me on each side. The people on one tavern are not in the other tavern. Well, yeah, I guess I should say there are two, four, eight locations proper because these are special locations. Because okay. you're never moving them doesn't actually gain you any benefit. You play those down when you are trying to get the new missios. Okay. Right, Jason? Is he on there? Those don't count as locations proper. So there's eight proper locations and two special ones. He'll answer. Uh, there's a delay. So. He'll answer. Okay. He'll, get it. He'll get me. I think I'm right. All right. You can do it. Yeah. Because if you don't do it, I'm not going to let you do it next time. <laughs> Um, I yes, they count for scoring. 
They count for going scoring. Mark? The clerk again? If I play the soldier, can I move and somebody to the tavern? I my am question. going to take an extra. Does the tavern count as a location? Card again. Tavern counts as two locations. All right. And I'm done. Okay, well, I told you it was going to happen. I'm going to put the butcher down here, and I get to move any two cards to the discard pile. You know, he does have another Missy. <laughs> I, I, I understand that. <laughs> I understand that, but I am going to now reveal a Missy that uh -oh. I have just completed. I believe. Oop, that's. I think I know see. which one this is. Clear okay. one location containing at least two non soldier characters. So I have cleared the market, and I scored two points for the soldier. See, the key to this game is making sure that you actually completed the missio before <laughs> announcing it to everyone. I were where were you? Yeah. I'm sorry. No, I, I'm, I'm just saying. We all, we all, That's we all. That's how some play. Uh, yeah, yeah. All right, oh, I get to draw a card, and uh, I get another missio. Sweet. So what are you up to for points? What's that? I'm at three points. He's all cocky when he's ahead, you know? I don't. Maybe, do I? <laughs> Someone else would have to. With right. John, you could tell he's going to win when he says, I'm not going to win this game. <laughs> this is true. I am going to play the, the butcher and move any two cards to the discard pile. <gasps> I'm going to move dun, dun, dun. soldier. Ouch. And I will move the student. And I am going to complete. Now, I don't lose the Missio because it no longer exists, correct? Sorry. No, it's, that's a good question. I don't lose the Missio because it no longer exists. Once I, the Missio happened, I, I, got, I, I earned the points from it, and then the people moved on, so I don't lose the Missio. Yeah, because you, you gain somebody's trust, and, you know, things happen in the city, but that guy trusts you or, or whatever. So you've, once you've accomplished the mission, you've built up your reputation, basically. Okay. I got it. You got it. You yeah. have it. I'm there. I'm but good. now with this, I gain the trust of the minstrel, and both locations bordering the castle must contain at least three characters, but no soldiers. Right on. Tough one. The minstrel's worth how much? Two points. So I'm at three now. Yep. Alright. So the, the question I had before um, about the tavern, these do count as two separate locations. So there, there were ten on the board, and you can move somebody to there with an ability. Um, you just can't... Um, what would you say? You can't draw from someone you just moved that turn? Uh, right. Um, with the tavern... Counts as two locations, and if this comes roll up, uh, and you can move someone there. You just can't draw from the same side of the tavern that you move someone to at the end of your turn. Okay. All right. I'm gonna play the uh, shopkeeper, which will allow me to uh, swap one card with any other card in the location. I'm gonna swap the soldier with the thief. I am going to take another Okay. So I just realized with that question, so the tavern is somewhat new to me. I've been playing Fidelitas for lots of iterations and the tavern is somewhat new to me, so I left this out. You can draw at the end of your turn from one of the cards in the tavern. Okay. You too much, but if there were characters there on the board, you can draw from them. Oh, okay. So that was a clarification that Jason was just making, is that say you play a card and move one over there, you can't then draw that card. You can't just like give yourself a free card. Okay, um, so that's why I couldn't think of why it mattered, because you guys just plowed through those two that were there and they were just gone for a long time. So, any face up people at the tavern, you can draw from them at the end of your turn. I'm sorry, I'm thinking about my turn because I had something really cool to do on my turn, and then Derek made it not possible. Yes. Yes. I just, Finally. I just wanted you to know that, that, that well played, <laughs> sir. Well, 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 well played. Let's play the long game here. Yeah. All right, fine. I will. 
Use a soldier and moves a priest. Who is apparently German. The priest is priestly. Jason. Jason. Oh, sorry. That was really not cool. All right, cool. I have finished my turn. I have drawn my Virtus card. I did not score any Missios that turn, much to my chagrin. Okay. I'm going to play the soldier here, and then because I can move one card from the soldier's location to any other location, I'm going to move the thief. I swear your Missio cards are not see-through. <laughs> they don't know which one. And kind. then... This is just normal game. <laughs> hey, whatever. I, no, I'm... I'm... And we usually are after each other's things, even though we have no idea. Phrasing. All right. Gain the trust <laughs> of the priest. The three locations must contain only members of the matching guild. Soldiers are permitted. So I have this, this, and that. Beautiful. Very nice. And that's uh, two points. So you're at five. So I'm at five. There are three-point missios in this deck. So Perfect. if you don't like the ones you have down, you can discard to the tavern and draw an missio hmm. as your action for that turn. I guess not discard. Play as your play of our discard to the tavern. <laughs> I just can't believe how heavy-handed they've been. Like, they know one of these cards, and they're like, no matter what happens, <laughs> you will not score that one point. It's a one-point miss you, yeah. and they will not give it to you. It's cool. Little do they know you have the one eight-point miss you face down. I know, I know. <laughs> eight-point miss you? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Power right. cards. Broken game. Yeah. Sorry. Have to pull I, your eyebrows back down. The designer says, hey... Yeah, shouldn't you get rid of a Mystio? If you I, keep messing up, it might be time to trade one out. That is what I'm going to do. So I to do that, I, I play to the tavern. Yes. And then I can discard this Missio where I'm trying to gather people to the market. Yep. All right, let's put that right there, and I will... And then, John, now you would we... add... No one likes to drink alone? You would add one more to the tavern. Oh, hey now. wow, the soldiers are hanging out there. Yeah, but they're not in the same location, so that's different. Right. All right. So, is my turn now? You drew a uh, back. You drew another purchase oh, card. Sorry, no, I did not. I Thank I'm you. gonna. <laughs> uh... <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding. All right, I'm gonna. I, I need to. I need to confirm something. Yes. One of my missio conditions is met. Yep. But it can't be met if I didn't do it. No, you just don't screw it up. You just can't do it on someone yeah. else's oh, turn. Oh, okay. I just can't be as like, long oh, as, I'm... Oh, no. Yeah, as long as you don't mess it. up that board state, then you can score it. That was another thing. in the So in the very early iteration, which was kind of neat, but vastly different, was there was only four locations, and um, there was only five characters. You could be one of the four primaries or the soldier. Um, so... You were just trying to get them at your location. Whichever, okay. If you were the baker, you're trying to get them to the bakery. Or if you're the soldier, you're trying to clear it. So it's neat how, you know, to watch it evolve as far as we pretty cool. I'm going to uh, place her somewhere else. Because I have to place her over here. And I'm going to use the barrister and take one card from any location into my hand. <laughs> it's that moment. It's that moment. I almost did the stupid thing. <laughs> um, go ahead and give me the guy down at the market. Not because it hurts Derek, but just because he's clear down there and I'm... Well, because it doesn't hurt Derek anymore. He just it doesn't hurt Derek. That's what I said. Not because, not because, and I'm going to... Uh, the Academic Guild gather six characters from six different guilds across the Academic locations. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Which is a three-point... I now hold sway over the Academic Guild with a total of six points scored from... And I will take one more. Molar on the precipice over there. You're gonna want to record something before one of these guys. Uh, I, I, so, so <laughs> cards left in your hand at the end <laughs> count towards points, yeah, right? I didn't, I didn't discuss the bonus. Okay, good, good, good. Because um, that, and I've drawn my Virtus. That's what I'm going turn. for. We're all gonna okay. vote on sportsmanship award. <laughs> I am going to play. I had an idea. No. <laughs> <laughs> Was it a good idea or a no. bad idea? <laughs> I am going to play the soldier to the university and move the thief 
over here. Now, um, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say the soldier it says, or if there's three in or one three. location, but this does these count as two, two different locations. locations. Exactly. Correct. So the, the question that Derek had, just to say it out loud, um, the soldiers, if there are three soldiers at any one location, it would clear it. But in this case, they're spread across the academic guild, and there's two at this location, one at this location. If three of them hit, that whole all those characters get cleared of the discard pile. I'm going to play the cloak again. I'm going to draw two cards. I'm going to wait for that bonus points at the end. Yeah, for oh, yeah. all the cards. <laughs> yeah. It's not, it's, not, it's not the case. <laughs> My turn. I'm going to play the baker. I'm not even going to worry about it. Because no! I, I have the sway of the military guild. Eight soldiers must be present in the city. One, two, three, four... Five, six, seven, and eight. Four point missio for a ten point win. Four Congrats. point missio. Congratulations, John oh, nice. Moeller. Really? I was like, when I got out six, I was like, aha, and then she killed one, and I was like, oh. <laughs> they said it hit that when there was five, and then all of a sudden there's seven. I'm like, yes. And then somebody played one, I'm like, yes. As long as I don't screw it up. And that's yeah. why. I, nice. Could have moved two for whatever he's supposed to do, and it wouldn't have it wouldn't have affected. But cool. My next turn would have had the three points. Oh! <laughs> I have a one point, a two point, a three point, and that a four point in sequential order. Nice. Is there is there bonus points for runs, Jason? He had he had the one, two, three, and four point missio scored. I think there should be a bonus point for that. So. Quick thoughts from the players. We'll start down there with John. Have fun. It's a it, it's definitely it does it does play quick once you once you know what you're doing. Um, enough of the the cards and stuff uh, re repeat the abilities or, or have similar abilities, and, and that's that's nice so that you can key off of oh okay. Um, though it being a first time going through and saying is does somebody have what I needed because I was really looking for that one point does somebody take somebody back from the discard because I was probably sitting on a card that put people in the discard for a while, so I was like does somebody because I was looking for that soldier looking for that last soldier but I didn't need it. Um, it, it played fine. I like having the two different locations but being on the same location because I think for some people that might be a little confusing, but I think that's a selling point. Um, mm -hmm. it's, it was good for me. I like that. Sorry. I really like the game. I uh, <laughs> First thing that got me was the art. I love the art. And that was that's Jackie Davis, right? Jackie Davis, yeah. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, yeah, I, I love this. And the game's quick. It's easy to learn. And it's fun, and it kind of fits into the the whole genre of games, the the smaller ones like the the Seiji Kanai games and uh, Hanabi and stuff like that, which is all in a box. It's good to go, and it's good for everybody. Like I love it. Games that might theoretically be discussed on like I don't know a 20 minutes of filler podcast, just right. hypothetically, if if there were such a thing. Yeah. I, I think if we, had, you know, again. The more we played it, if we had played it more than once, I think we would have gone through a little faster. For anybody sitting home saying, "Wow, that really took a little while," for for you know what it is. No, I, yeah. I think I think that once once you get to know it with any game, the first game is going to be a mm -hmm. little. And having three first-time players, I think really. But I think we picked it up. Oh yeah. yeah. Except for maybe Derek. Who <laughs> yeah. Cold blooded. So I want to say that the other missio I got was the exact same thing. Only for oh. the warehouse. You guys just um, kept clearing I, it over. <laughs> and and the other one I had was to get guys over here, and I kept on trying to bring guys over here, and you guys were like, nope, just put down more of the <laughs> these guys. Um, I really, really, really enjoy um, cards with power games. Like Kristen yes. was, she yeah. actually stole exactly what I was saying. I own every Seiji Kanai game, and this just feels a lot like that. It um, just very fun, very light. I would be able to take this to some place yeah. and say, here's how to play this game, and, and get someone who isn't necessarily uh, a, a big gamer into it, and um, yeah. For, for me, I'm I'm the kind of guy that actually tends to get away from games that are, you know, yeah. cards with words, um, okay. as it were, and so I was a little nervous about yeah, this going into it, I, I wouldn't say that, but... This this worked out really well. It really hit a spot. Guillotine. I don't know if anybody knows yes. that game. This this is this was very reminiscent of that for me, and I liked I liked a lot of the jockeying around in the interplay. Mm -hmm. So it, it 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 ended up leveling out and being being very nice for me. So I'm, I'm very I'm very much mm -hmm. am a fan of this one. Yeah, and I, I definitely think that um, playing it again, if I were to play it again, 
um like you were saying before, knowing what the cards do a little bit more, knowing the different types of ah ah missios that are in there, it it make it a little bit you know quicker. you're like, oh, okay, here, oh oh yeah, move this over here. but there's definitely really good um interaction without being interactive, i guess. and i I think for you, definitely in a in a future game, players not knowing what your missio is yeah. Yeah. would yeah. really would really be a bonus. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I do I do apologize for my hand in, in exploiting that. Oh, it's fine. Um, but uh, come on, it was good good for laughs, exactly. Oh, yeah. yeah, definitely. <laughs> and I'll I'll take my penance later. <laughs> I'm jumping on camera here. Um, so we're gonna take a really quick break, uh, maybe two three minutes, uh, and then we're gonna come right back playing a two player game. Uh, with two uh, special guests that joined us here. So uh, stay tuned for literally three minutes and watch two player game of Fidelitas next. Thanks. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Let's talk about compounded. <laughs> <laughs>
Welcome back to the live play of Fidelitas. Brought some special guests out here, some some of the uh, geniuses of game design in the uh, greater Philadelphia area. Uh, <laughs> um, so they can introduce themselves. Basically, I gave them, what, a 90 second explanation mm -hmm. of, of how to play? Quick. Um, for two reasons. One, because that's about how much time Daryl let us have, because he's the jerk like that. Um, but also because, you know, it is pretty simple to dive into and kind of pick up some things as you go. So, dual purpose. Um, they're going to go head-to-head -head for us so we can see how two-player looks a little bit different from those of you that managed to watch the three-player game. Shoulder to shoulder. Shoulder, yes. So, I'm going to help <laughs> out Jason. <laughs> so, guys, go ahead and introduce yourselves and, uh, and get going. I'll be here for questions. Hi, I'm Jay Tree. I'm a game designer, like uh, Mike said. I made Legacy of This Lair, which you can find on the Game Crafter, or Cahoots, which you can find on iOS. Um, Jason Tagmeyer. I designed uh, Pixel Lincoln, Maximum Throwdown, and some other little stuff. Um, <laughs> did you happen to play Ma Maximum Throwdown over your shoulder? Or is that just <laughs> I didn't put it there. Can you say it? Does it tuck right over his shoulder now? Aren't you glad I didn't buy it? I, uh, no, I'm not glad you, you didn't buy it. You mean this game that's on the shelf here at the Games Keep in Westchester, Pennsylvania? Is that what you're talking about? Yeah. The game that's on me. the shelf there? Thanks. <clears throat> Give me my discount card, Carl. Thank you, <laughs> Uh, who is going first? Uh, What's the rule? Well, uh, it's a Katarski game, so it probably has to do with beards. So I'm going to give it to Tagmar. You can go first. Uh, okay. Um. I know he's going to put the rule up in the chat. I'm sure there's a first player rule, but um, it's funnier to refer this. to the Heartland Hauling rule. What do I play? I'm just like... Yeah, basically, like I like to just kind of scoot it up and put it on top. Because yeah. I want to be able to see all the icons, but I don't want to tuck. You want to see the icons. Exactly. So okay. that way you know, like... And I can take that? from either side, or take a card from any location? Any yeah. location. I want that one. And thanks for reading the card. Yes. Uh, take the card from any location <laughs> in your hand. <laughs> yep, so that didn't have to be at that. You could. That's any of the town locations. I thought I had to play it. You had to play it there. I, I wanted to take from there. Yep, exactly. You can take a card from any location, so... Okay. Can you take something that's underneath of something else? Yep, that's why the stack doesn't matter. You just, you just, um, there's one exception. There's one neat card that does some wacky stuff. Okay. Um, but yeah, and so does that card have any restrictions about drawing at the end of your turn? No. Nope. So there you go. All right, I'm gonna play the professor to the uh, library. He says, discard one card from your hand, draw three cards. So I will discard. <laughs> They're all happy about the uh, the beards comment in the chat. It says, <laughs> I've been working. Philip says, beards, awesome. We should put that. Katarski laughs and then <laughs> Louder's like, it's how all card games should start. <laughs> no, it's all, it's how green catch games. games. Green catch start. games. So I've got the little X, so I don't draw at the end of my turn. I'm done. All right. Um, the soldier, move one card from the soldier's location to any other location where three soldiers are present. Clear. I will move it there. And I do draw. Yep. So if you guys need some motivation, basically you're trying to plan a rebellion. And last night you gathered in the, in the tavern and planned your rebellion. Had a bit too much to drink and forgot the plans, so now you're trying to gain the trust of the citizens once again to <laughs> lead the rebellion. All right, I'm going to play the priest to the butcher shop. He says, take an extra Missio card or draw two cards. I'm going to take an extra Missio card. And then I, and then I do not draw. So I'm done. I will... I have to play this here. I'm going to play it here. Uh, discard one card from your hand and draw three. Done. Oh, one thing I didn't mention to you guys is there's some cards that refer to near the harbor, which is this little icon. So harbor's down here. Okay. Or near the castle. Okay. Um, did you guys hit that stretch goal yet? That gives you the extra the castle and the harbor cards. Uh, yes. Yes. So there will be a card representing that Very here. Cool. Um, yeah, which is just helpful. 
All right, I will play the Baker, which says move two cards from one green location to two different locations, um, which I will do. Just move. You can target. Like, now that's at that location, so you can... So I can put this... So get J a card, that. or J, that card is updated. Get J a card, that card is updated. No idea. Oh, the one that he couldn't draw, the, the clergyman. He updated it so you can draw a card at the end of your okay, turn. Okay, so this is from last turn. Yes. This is for this turn. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks Jason. for speaking up in this game, not the last game when I played it. <laughs> yeah, Jason said that you owed J a card, not Jason. So, got that? <laughs> <laughs> it says to me. Jay, not Jay. <laughs> you're, not, you're all done? <laughs> this guy is going here. Swap one card with any other card in a different location. I'm going to swap this one with this one. Yeah. Um. All right, I'll play the thief. Take one card from each player with more than two cards. <laughs> Yeah, wonder who that is. <laughs> <laughs> Which player? <laughs> Yoink. Um, and I have a missio completed. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I have completed the butcher, which says gather characters from four different guilds to the butcher shop. Uh, can you repeat the tavern rule? Yes. So, should you want to get rid of one of your Missio cards, what you're going to do is play um, one of your characters, doesn't matter which one, because its ability is going to be canceled. Okay. Play it to either side of the tavern. Okay. okay. Discard the Missio you want to get rid of and draw a new one. And then, because no one likes to drink alone, you're going to put one extra vert discard out um, on the other side of the tavern. So here, I'm discarding one. Draw a new one. And from here, mm -hmm. just... Is that it? Yep. And do I draw? Yeah, so you, you play the card, yep, you still draw. Okay. Just like any other play. Okay. Done. So that's the way, with the exception of the clergy, lets you draw an extra one. Alright, what is that guy? The fish? The priest lets you draw an extra one. The tavern's how you cycle. All right, I'll play the student, which says draw four cards, choose one to add to your hand, discard the three cards not chosen. Hoping for something helpful. I do not draw at the end of that turn, so I'm done. Okay. Take one card from any location into my hand. This one. Got it. Done. Is there a hand size? No, there is no hand size. Okay. When we place someone to the tavern to replace our Missio, do we also do the cards action? No, we do not. Okay. So I am replacing one of my Missios. But you do have to put another card down at the other side of the tavern because no one likes. Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of. Agreed. You need help. Uh, and I still draw at the end of the turn. It's after nine o'clock. It can be real beer. <laughs> yeah, Jason. Okay. Uh, play to a location adjacent to the castle. Uh, move up to two cards from this location. This one. Yeah. Uh, to one of the other locations in the same side of the city. So it's just anywhere yes. over here. Yeah. Uh, and draw. All 
right. I will play the Baker, which says move any two cards to any two different <coughs> locations. One here and here. Uh, and I think I've accomplished the City Missio, which is at least one card from each of the nine guilds must be present in the city. Ooh, that's a tough one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh-oh. I believe you need Skullduggery. Okay. I didn't do it. Yep. He does not have that Missy on his hand. <laughs> You've seen and nothing. I will not be playing Skullduggery. <laughs> <laughs> if you had a Skullduggery <laughs> card. Are you done? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the, that's one of the few four-pointers, I believe, from the city. Let's see. Swap one card with a card in a different location. Not to, you know, direct anything, but this is the first time you guys played. There's another four pointer in there, which is eight soldiers on the table. So if you're afraid that your opponent might have eight, so you know, the eight soldiers one, you might want to find a way to remove some soldiers. Let's see. Just putting it out there. Such as playing a soldier together, so it clears. All right, I swapped. I draw. Okay. Is What's considered a location? <laughs> this there are ten locations, so... The one, student, two, two, three, draw three. four, choose one, discard the others. <laughs> Philip DeBerry's got a lot of money on you, Tag Mike. He just said he hopes you beat the spread. He hopes you beat the spread. All right, and I don't draw. Go ahead. I think playing any game against... I think it's the seat, man. I'm in trouble. Derek, Derek scored uh, as many VP as you currently have in this game, <laughs> so you got scum. Currently smashing you one to zero. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm playing this one. Move any two cards to any two different locations. That's gonna be good for you. He's not gonna be at zero for very long. One, two. Draw. And then, uh, Wait. Fix I'm sorry. What's up? Magistrate, fix it so we can see the shields. How far? Right in front of Magistrate. Oh, right in front of Jay. Right in front of you. There you go. Oh, there you go. Oh, I see. Okay. Disembodied hand of John Moore. <laughs> Did it pop in? <laughs> All right. Let's play the Baker. Move any two cards to any two different locations. <laughs> there. Ooh, I thought he was going to undo what you did immediately. <laughs> that there. And uh, the shopkeeper says gather characters from four different guilds at the market. I have done that. Score. Draw and Should I have taken another Missy when I played my first one? Even though I had three, or is it only replacing up to two? Actually, I forget. Replace up to every time you score, once you have a third one, Jason, Philip. Or only replace it when you have... So I got a third Missio. I played one. Do I replace it so I've got three again, or do I only replace when I go below two? I know, I definitely need more cameras, because I'm not going just a two. So you're, you have the right number now. <laughs> soldier, move one card from the soldier's location to any other, or if three soldiers are present, clear. I will move, not that, that, here, and he's going to score. The Commerce Guild. Ooh. Gather six, gather characters from six different uh, guilds across the, what are these called? Those locations. Those locations, yes. <laughs> Place down. The, this. Commerce locations. Um, and I draw a new one automatically? Yep. So not only did you score, that's a three pointer. I know. I'm in the lead. had a swing. Game is 10, by the way, for a two player. Alright. I'd like to mention the halfway through. Halfway through the points. Or halfway through the I told them what the VP total was like <laughs> when somebody had five, I think. <laughs> <laughs> this the soldiers guild counts as a guild. Yeah, any shield basically. Okay. There's a military guild. There's the. All right, so I'm using the soldier. Move one card from the soldier's <laughs> location. Oh, 
the soldier's location to any other location. Um, I'm going to actually put him here. Move that there. So this draw that means. and I'm done. Follow me. So like follow me. For example, if I don't believe that there are nine guilds. Mm -hmm. I'm not convinced. The Punisher is in the game. So the Punisher is, is there the one one oh, member of the guild. I, I That's part from this. Well, if you, you would need a soldier to play, yep. all right. So you need, you need some some way to clear it, right? Mm -hmm. So as you clear it, in this case, that would be okay. two non. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Perfect. Yep. All right. Just you'll see what sure. we're talking about right now. <laughs> <In> my turn. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, play this here. Uh, move one card for the soldiers, or if three are present, clear the location. Clear means wipe them out. Yep. And in doing that, the soldier. Clear one location containing at least two non-soldier characters. So there were two five in there. Uh-oh. Not that. that was, I'm at five points. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And drop your missiles. Yes. When the deck runs out, the Virtus deck runs out, it gets reshuffled, right? Yes. Okay. <laughs> right, so I have something to do. I just like stuck with that. Play a soldier here. Oh, that yeah. to that to there. Uh, the professor gather characters from four different guilds at the <laughs> university. Oh, that's the library. I'm wrong again. Oh. Okay. okay. Avoid the universe. Okay, I mean, can I do that? Discard one card from my hand. Draw three cards. <laughs> and Jay's heart sinks. I see. <laughs> oh, he discarded. I see. I had work. to discard it so I don't accidentally play it at some point. So actually, I just want to read this card. This is this is one of the, the cooler cards. So there are some rare cards in the in the deck. Uh, in this one in particular, um, is the Swindler. So cards under the Swindler cannot leave unless cleared by soldiers. Okay, so if alone, this card's inactive. So I can play this here, and all of these cards, this is the one card that I was saying matters, so all these cards are just locked right there. So you can take your time completing that mission, or missio, or whatever. The Swindler's a cool card. In this case, it's even cooler, because it's not in the book. <laughs> it's the only one of the one I have. Is the only one of that... Uh... It's the only one right now. Okay. Um, there's another Skullduggery Guild character from the Kickstarter expansion so far. Cool. All right, I'll play another student. Draw four cards. Trying to dig through the deck. I did mop a few rules, but I did study up on the Kickstarter page, so I know all the stretch goals that have been online. Right. And I don't draw. Go ahead. Play this here. Move any two cards to any two different locations. This one here. This one here. And I think I have a double. Uh oh! Gather characters from four different guilds at the Manor Courts. Boom. And gather characters from six different guilds across the. These guys. One, two, three, four, five, oh, six. One on one. Cool. Done. So you're Game. one dead? Oh, yes. that is. No, it's like a. No, it's nine. nine. Oh, I'm used to eight. I'm sorry. Oh, you have one right. of these or two? What'd you say? Yeah. Um, so yeah, you can go back up to two. Okay. Um, so the one thing you will notice is that since you guys aren't clearing locations, as you draw Missio cards, you might draw one that is done. So sometimes you might want to play those soldiers just to clear locations, just to safeguard yourself. That's true. But in general, the game will escalate quickly as it gets towards game end. So he could quickly drop a double back on you. 
Alright, so two characters, two, <laughs> two different locations. So d does just having three soldiers automatically clear, or do you have to play it and choose the second option in order to clear? Uh, I believe it's play, um, because it used to be just gather, which is a little bit different. With the mic, what's that noise? Oh, he's thinking. Let's <laughs> um, right. one card from my hand. So draw three. Done. All right, the broker move two. Uh, move two cards from two locations to one green location. So move yellow and a purple to the warehouse. And I have gained the trust of the broker. Gather characters from four different guilds at the warehouse. We have your, your total over there. Four. Nine, four. But it's anybody's game at this point. And, uh, Oh yeah. So this should. Have, this was, yeah. That's my question. Is if it was player just gather. So this does clear because there was. It does three clear anytime there. there are three. Okay. Yep. I didn't know if it was player because the. And we shuffle as soon as the deck is empty. So with the tavern, that only goes up when you play it to get new missio. Yeah. Exactly. It's not always even. Right. right. Okay. I'm going to soldier is going here. Move one to any other location, and I'll move it here. Uh oh, and he's reaching. Do I have that? I believe One, you do. Two, three, four, and six, right? Yep. Two, four, six. Three points. So what is that one that you just? Six. Uh, gather characters from six different uh, blue location. I see five different guilds because these are both duplicates. Oh, they're so both duplicates, yeah. So that's five. So just hold this off the side <laughs> until I get it in a second. Yeah, and I got a clear one of those things. Oh, that's right. I didn't see that there were, t there were two soldiers too. Yep. What you don't know is that that was actually a bluff. That's not what he's <laughs> trying to accomplish. Clever. Who does this work with? Um, <clears throat> oh, I have to draw at the end of my turn. Okay, so you're done. Does that work with just one? All mm -hmm. right. Okay. Yeah, but currently it is. Yeah, it's not. It's like easily yeah. zero and I'm close. I'll play the barrister. Take one card from any location into your hand. Oh, yeah. This yellow card. Off your turn. Ah, oh, well done. So, for those that didn't catch what just happened there, now there's one yellow removed and or one um, artisan removed, and there's less different guilds over there on that side. So, yes. Nice defensive play. You got some kind of read on Tagmire. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna play this. Swap one card with any other card in a different location. Oh. 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 It don't matter. And this one. There That's you why go. he didn't flip the table. <laughs> <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> All right. Good game. Good game. <laughs> Good game. <laughs> All right. So so you you made Philip some money. So that's awesome. <laughs> I'm really yeah, shocked that I did, but congrats. <laughs> All right, well, guys, thank you so much for playing. Yeah. Um, Thanks. It was, fun. It, was, it, was it was great to have you. You want to, anything else you want to do? Yeah, you should slide in. All right, I'll slide yeah. in. I don't want to. Again, thanks for, you, oh, yeah, absolutely. Um, we're getting a little selfie before we go. <laughs> Again, thanks for joining us at the Unplugged Live Play. Unplugged Live Play. I want to add extra L's to that every time. And games keep.
Oh, I, I've already I've already thrown out there twice. I'll get there. So, um, you know, thank you to, to Daryl and John again for always for the unpub stuff. Thank you to Carl at the Games Keep here in Westchester, PA. Um, and also kind of mad at Carl because I can't stop spending money in the store. <laughs> but uh, thanks to all of you and those of you on the chat. Um, go check out uh, Fidelitas on Kickstarter. It's got a couple of days left. A lot of neat stretch goals, more cards that weren't here. And it's just a lot of fun. So thanks, everybody.